reached into my heart the other day. Uh, the last two weeks have been extremely hard on my spirit and on my mental health. There was an event that I was asked to do. The prior event that I did that was similar was where I had to deal with uh, a battle against an enemy who was trying their hardest to turn as many people against me as they could and I had just started up my business and so when that happened it just it shut everything down and it was so discouraging. I overcame everything through the grace of God and he, he guided me on what I'm supposed to do now because one thing that I'm still understanding with my relationship with God and with, with Jesus and his sacrifice is that when God created us, he created us to be beings of love and to love him um, naturally without it being forced and by giving us free will and then by sin being introduced into our world, he realized that we don't do that naturally. It actually takes a choice and it takes discipline. And, and in his heart, that's better because then those who do choose him, he knows us by our names. He knows who we are. He knows our hearts and he calls on us and he's with us because of that. So this next event came, I ended up getting a lot of calls from a restricted number and most of them I ignored, but they were becoming so annoying that I answered. And when I answered, it was just somebody saying, you know, we know where you're gonna be. We know what you're trying to do, don't. And if you do, and we'll find you. Like it was very just, it just gave me really bad feelings and it just took me back to the place where when I was going through the hardest time with that enemy she sent so many people showed up at my work just standing outside the door and I had no team so it was just me so that it was super intimidating she had just have somebody just staring at me sent people to message me uh, tried to get the police to arrest me when I wasn't becoming intimidated and then did the restraining order so all of those things may seem easy for some people to deal with, but I'm not that strong. I'm not, and it broke me severely. And then being re-triggered for that moment once another opportunity came up was just terrible. And I got to a place where I just didn't see any value in myself. I didn't know why I'm here, why I'm trying to do anything. and. I've just gotten on medication that is stabilizing my brain, but in the process of doing that, it's putting it through hell pretty much. And uh, yeah, as I was feeling like that was the end for me, I was getting to the point where I kind of was just feeling like with everything I've been through, because that, that situation was just one of many in my life, and it's just like a repeated pattern it felt like up to that point. With everything I've been through, why am I even here anymore? That's kind of where my head was going. And, I was actually thinking through what I should be doing to end that. So that was happening. I was fighting through it. I didn't let it take over because I don't believe in doing that. No matter how hard things get, I do believe that my life is precious. I was put here for a reason. I have gifts and I'm blessed and I have blessings and I can be thankful in the midst of this pain. And so that's kind of what I poured my heart into and I fell to my knees and I, I prayed to God and I said, help me and what he showed me was stuff that I didn't even realize that I needed to be aware of such as with my business being that I wanted him as, as the foundation I didn't know when I had stopped letting him be the foundation and so he showed me very clearly where I had stopped and where I need to go right back into making him the foundation but he also poured his love into me and so in that moment I felt so clean I felt so healed and so heard and he validated me and when I say validated I mean he confirmed who I am to him and he confirmed what I understand about this world is right that I I have a great sense of what he wants from his children and what we're supposed to be doing and what's coming and how to stay on that path he is firm. He was not happy with some of the choices I've made, but it didn't make him disown me. It just made him want to hold on to me tighter. And he could tell that the devil had been using a lot of people to bring me to that place to take me because 
God has given me so many gifts and I've, I've seen them and experienced them since I was a child and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm supposed to be using them. But just as clearly as he sees my gifts, the devil does too. And so he just spoke into me and told me how strong he has made me and that I don't have to worry anymore because he's going to be with me the entire time. I am to obey him and I am to obey the man that he placed in my life and to trust that things will be taken care of for me and my family. He told me that he has me for eternity and what I can expect when I do go to heaven and why am I so worried about losing things. If I'm losing anything, then it's not for me. I have everything that I need and I will continue to gain more. And he just reminded me that these gifts that I have are gonna get stronger and I'm gonna be able to reach people and give his messages to people that won't be able to hear it from church, that won't be able to hear it from traditional Christians, but will hear it because he's going to use me to reach them. And that was just really beautiful. And I just wanted to share that with you guys that God loves us all so much. He finds us where we are. If we are called by him, then he, he reaches into us and he fills us up. And I know that I am changed forever from that moment. It was not something that was temporary and that I'm going to need to have happen over and over and over to understand my heart feels so put together right now it feels so different than it did ever I feel so strengthened in my clarity of who I am to God and how important I am and it makes it so that I don't need to second guess anymore I'm going to follow it and I'm going to see the results that will come from being that way and then putting all of my trust in him and so I'm just really thankful for that moment and for what's coming next. Blessings that are coming up that he has affirmed. Um, I'm about to get money. I'm about to be blessed financially. And not a little blessing, like a huge blessing. That's going to help set my family up for investments and preparing our way with the ideas and the plans that God has for me. But he also has been showing me that my gifts are getting stronger. So since that moment, my prophetic gifts are really, really strong. Being able to hear him clear as day and then give messages from him, it's becoming super clear. But he's also having me read the Bible because he wants me to know the origin and what his guidelines are. Now he makes it very clear that although he does have rules and laws and ways that we're supposed to be to be living like Christ the way that we should be striving to be he also though understands that there's no sin that's greater than any other and that we are sinful in nature and that was hard to understand and that's why he he let Jesus go through everything he went through and that is why Jesus's purpose and path was to be sacrificed for all of us to still get to heaven because otherwise none of us were going to get there where none of us are perfect in any way so everybody does something and all sins are equal there's not one sin that's bigger than another even though to us we feel like i'm what i'm doing is not that bad it's that bad and so he strengthened the gift of prophetic message he's making it a lot easier for me to just reach him and ask him for clarity but he also affirmed that my intuition is high. I know what's right and wrong. I'm wrong because I second guess it. I hear the truth. I hear what I'm supposed to do or what I'm supposed to feel in a moment. And I don't believe in myself. And he said, when I am not believing in myself, I'm disobeying him because he's letting me know that I have the right mind, that I'm, I have the right spirit. I'm doing the right things and people are letting me go astray because I'm believing them rather than believing what he affirms in me. And so I'm just really excited to keep stepping into this life.